Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> We've got you sideways a little bit. Oh. Can you flip your device? <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we, go. we are. Awesome. You guys, we are joined with Ty Harris. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal uh, player. We're so happy to have you with us. Ty, welcome in to the Windsider Post Draft Show. Thank you. How are you, how are you doing? Um, <laughs> um, I've calmed down a lot since since my name's been called. Uh, been in my mom's room, just kind of taking it all in. My family's outside in the living room. They're doing their thing, but uh, yeah, I'm super excited, super ecstatic about it all. You know, Ty, I have to talk about this. It's crazy. Like, I remember when you, you were in eighth grade, and I was yeah. eighth grade, <laughs> freshman year, and I would drive down to Fisher's, and I would watch her practice at Heritage Christian, just praying that I could potentially recruit <laughs> her and some of her teammates, and I knew I didn't have a chance in hell <laughs> on my team, but it's been so cool to see, like, that feels like yesterday, and right. here we are now, and, like, you were just drafted tonight. Like, can you believe it? No, I really can't. I mean, I say the same thing for a lot of things. Like, when we won our uh, national championship my freshman year, I was like, I feel like yesterday I was filling out the brackets. Then it was like senior night. I feel like yesterday I just came to college, and now I'm finally making a dream come true. And it's crazy to even think about. You're making me feel really old. I will give you that. <laughs> I feel like I'll, I'm aging very quickly. But, um, all right, let's, let's jump right into it. You know, Ty, Dallas Wings, did you expect – Dallas, I'm sure you've gone through every possible scenario mm -hmm. in your mind, but um, I know a lot of mocks had you as early as four, some had you yeah. at six, you know, kind of, w where did you think you could potentially end up? Well, I actually thought I was going to end up four through six, anywhere between there. Uh, <laughs> even my agent was talking about it, but I mean, I'm happy I, Dallas chose me and the, uh, they're confident in me. I mean, they have a great program and they're young and I'm excited to see uh, how we all mesh together and our chemistry grow. How, how much do you know about the Dallas franchise? I mean, obviously you've talked with Brian Agler and, and the yeah. staff and, and kind of what they've got going on there. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a big rebuild, but they've got an incredible amount of talent. You've got yeah. Enrique there. Um, like, like, how do you feel about the franchise in general and, and the state it's in? Um, I mean, a lot of people speak highly of Dallas, so I, I can't wait to see what the city is like. Uh, I mean, so, so far as the franchise, I mean, they're young. Uh, I know Brian is trying to pull some pieces, move some pieces around and see how uh, he can mold us in, in, into what he wants us to be. Uh, I know Enrique as a player. I knew I know a couple of my teammates from South Carolina, and that's going to be fun just to play with them again and connect with them again. And just kind of just connect with all the uh, rookies because, I mean, he had a lot of first-round picks, and um, it's going to be fun just to connect all and just see how everything plans out. You know, we talk about – um, you know, your evolution as a player, you know, for a mm -hmm. while people were talking about, you know, as a freshman, you win in a national championship, you know, you yeah. had so many goals um, from a young age and being able to win a national championship and, and people who knocked you for, you know, can, can, can you not shoot? And then you quickly yeah. answered that question and worked on your game. I mean, you, you are someone um, that I have been able to see and watch your game truly evolve and change. You just have a work ethic that is um, through the roof, and then you combine that learning under an Olympian and Dawn Staley. Mm -hmm. What has that been like, and how do you feel like she's prepared you for the NBA? I mean, I think she prepared me tremendously. I mean, that was the main reason to go to South Carolina, just because I knew that she could make me grow as a player and a person. Um, I mean, she was a highly decorated point guard. She's one of the best, and um, I just wanted every – I wanted to use my advantage of just being played under her and just learn everything that she knows. And I just want to follow in her footsteps. Talk to me. She's obviously a WNBA legend, but mm -hmm. did she talk to you? Have other people talked to you about player comparisons uh, in the W? And what do you think about those? Who do you think you should be compared to? No, I actually don't have – not a lot of people talked about the comparison in the league. Uh, I would like to mold my game after Sue Bird. I, I think highly of her. Uh, I mean – Somebody told me that I play like old Teresa Edwards, but I didn't, I didn't, I've never really seen her play. But I know she's she's a great player, and um, I like the comparison just because I know she's a legend. So, yeah. Are your sisters in bed, or are they still up? Can they come hype hype up with us, or did they go to bed? Um, they're in the living room right now. I I, I know they're still up, but because of my cousins and stuff right here. But I think they're in the living room. I don't know where they are. I saw you had quite the party going on there on ESPN. Yeah. That's uh, you're like we might be breaking social distancing just a little bit. But, um, <laughs> a little you know, bit. I, I was listening to Lachina's podcast. She does a phenomenal job. You said that you get up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you're running anywhere from 
two to five miles a day? Yeah, yeah. Out in the Indiana cold? Yeah, I mean, it's not so much as just to stay in shape. Uh, my trainer likes to say for my mental capacity and stamina, if he's like, if you can get up in the morning at 5 a.m. Um, and run in the cold, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, in the dark, then when it comes to a hard time in the future, I can look back to this and see that I overcame that and I can overcome with whatever hurdles in my in front of me. That that question or that that answer is phenomenal. I mean, the question is pretty cool too. But, uh, <laughs> I wanna I wanna ask you. We got We had a few more minutes here. Um, you know, it's. I think a lot of people forget. You know, you went to South Carolina as a freshman, and mm -hmm. you had to embrace older players, and you had mm -hmm. to kind of embrace leading older players. Um, similar scenario with US USA basketball. Um, mm -hmm. That goes a long way when you're talking about joining the WNBA and, and, and entering a league where you've got players who are, you know, four, five, six, seven years older than you. Now, Dallas is young, yeah. uh, but you have a very unique leadership uh, resume, if you will. Talk to me just about your on-the-court leadership, off-the-court leadership, your confidence in that, and where did that come yeah. from? Um, well, I'm actually a very shy person at first until I, you know, open up. And I think that would be my biggest hurdle to go is just kind of being stepping out of my comfort zone from the jump. I mean, as a point guard, I, I'm going to have to come in and stab myself early so they know, like, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to play. I'm ready to lead. And um, I mean, I think the leadership just goes as as far as relationship goes. I think off the court, you got to build that relationship, the trustworthiness with each other and the respect for each other to play along with it on the court. And um, if they trust me and they respect me enough, then on the court, it shouldn't be no problem. So now the draft is done. You're trying to catch your breath. Um, obviously, there's a lot of celebration to go on. Um, yeah. You know, talk, I know it's a, it's different. This whole year is different. Um, mm -hmm. and, and it's, I think you, you all, you along with the rest of the draft, the draftees have handled it with such grace and, and hats off to you with the way yeah. Your season ended, um, and then you know having to pick an agent kind of quicker than you anticipated, and all of this really snowballing onto you in a way that you probably weren't prepared for. Um, but now you're drafted. You know where you're going. You have yeah. answers. The world is in the state that it's in now. What is your plan moving forward these next few yeah. years? Yeah. Um. Obviously, just trying to stay in shape. Uh, get custom with Brian and the uh, team and. He, we actually just got off the phone. You said that I want you to start talking to your teammates in in, in a few days. So obviously, just kind of build the chemistry there and um, see how far that takes us. I mean, I'm still working out. I'm still trying to stay in my best shape <laughs> as possible, just in case they do come up with the training camp sooner or later. But uh, kind of just enjoy the time, soak in family time, and um, yeah, just be happy. So Todd, before we let you go, uh, mm -hmm. do you have do you have any do you have anything to say about Windsider's own Rachel Galligan? Uh, you know she's such a great. <laughs> we always want to give her props. We always want to hype her. Up. Can, you, <laughs> can you do us a little hype up for Rachel Galligan? Yeah, I mean I, I'm so I'm super proud of you for all you've done. I mean I remember you at Ball State recruiting me, and I mean we have a long history together. And just now seeing you here and doing what you love to do, I see you all the time on Twitter and you tweet throughout the season. And I just love how you embracing your role and um, just doing what you love to do and really expanding it and just flourishing. Uh, Ty, real Ty. quick, could we just get you to uh, do the Gamecocks chant real quick? <laughs> What's the, the Gamecock chant? <laughs> <laughs> That I, I I we got people in the chat telling us they want it, but apparently it, it's not a thing. All right. Oh, uh, I don't know that one. <laughs> I know the goal. We're making stuff up now. Okay. Ty, <laughs> Ty, thank you so much for the kind words. You you're the best. I, I love. Thank you. I love following your career. I can't wait to see what the future holds. And tell your family hi and stay safe. Okay. I will. You get. You too. Take care. Thanks, Doc. No problem.